Since its launch back in 2003, Microsoft OneNote has been the go-to for millions of people for their digital note-taking. What if I was to say it's going to receive the biggest update that we've seen in years? Those updates will give it superpowers when it comes to collaborating with your team. But you're going to wonder, how on earth is it going to get those superpowers? Well, it's going to do that using Microsoft Loop. Yes, Microsoft Loop is now coming into Microsoft OneNote. And it's going to mean we can do so much more inside of OneNote. We can now take a piece of content and share it with your colleagues in place. They can keep up to date and sync straight back into your OneNote notebook. Not only that, when it comes to task planning, we've always been fairly limited in OneNote. The ability to create Outlook tasks and flags that you can keep an eye on. But how can we assign them to others and also have notifications sent to them to chase them up? Well, we can now do that using Microsoft Planner and To Do. Those capabilities will now be available in OneNote using the power of Loop. So your OneNote notebook is going to be transformed from something that just taken all of your minutes into something much more powerful. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk you through all of those additional capabilities that are going to be arriving in OneNote very soon. You're going to see how we can take content from OneNote, easily transform it into content shared in Teams and Outlook and more, and also how we can transform the way that we take meeting notes, and also importantly, how we can even manage your tasks inside of OneNote. Before we dive in, I'd love it if you hit that like button and let me know if this content has helped you. Not only that, if you want to transform the way that you work, well, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's just one of many tutorials that we've created to help you get transformed into a productivity superstar, saving time to do the things that matter most in life. Otherwise, let's dive into OneNote and Loop and find out how your notebook is going to be totally transformed very soon. So here we are inside of OneNote. And as you can see, I've already created a project that I've been working on called Green Space. And here we have some project scope information. And I need to share it with my colleagues. And what ways could I do that before in OneNote? Well, I might choose to share the entire notebook with one of my colleagues via the share option, or I could email a copy of this page so I get feedback from one of my colleagues. But as you can see, this is a copy of the content. Any feedback like needs to be received and then worked on by myself. And it also needs to then update the OneNote page. And that can take a lot of time out of your day. So how could we make this process easier? Well, using the new loop capabilities, we can create a piece of content that we can share with others in place and keep synchronized as you or your colleague make changes. And to do this in OneNote, it's really easy. Here I am at the bottom of my OneNote page and under the insert ribbon, we can see a new option for loop components. I have the ability to insert a dynamic loop component inside of Microsoft OneNote. I'm gonna go ahead and select paragraph here. It's gonna create me a new paragraph component inside of loop. I'm gonna add a title and also add in some content in relation to some information on our project. With that now done, well, we can take that content and share it elsewhere. There's no need to email the page. Here, I'll select on copy component and we can also go into Microsoft Teams. We have a dedicated team set up for this project and I wanna go and get feedback from my colleagues in the team. Let's go down and start a post in the Teams channel. And all I need to do is paste in the loop component and then click on post to share it with my colleagues. You can now see the component is live inside of Teams and the benefit of using loop, well we can go in and make live changes to the content. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this line here and then click away, which is the same that you or your colleagues could do in your own loop components. But if we now return back into OneNote, instead of that email copy needing to be updated, you can see it's now updated straight in place. But you're probably wondering, well, does it do the same in Outlook? And absolutely does. Inside of Loop, we can create a new mail message and again paste in our component. So you can take a single piece of content from OneNote and share it in Outlook and Teams with your colleagues make changes and sync them all straight back into OneNote. But I know what you're thinking, that's great for new content, but what happens if you've already created content in apps like Microsoft Loop? Can we bring that then into your OneNote? You absolutely can. Here is a Loop page I've created with some content on one of our projects. It includes all of the potential project locations. 
So let's go ahead and highlight the content here. And I'm gonna go ahead and create a new loop component of this content and go ahead and copy the component. And much like we did inside of Teams and Outlook, well, I can go into OneNote and I could then also add a page or add it to an existing page. And I could then copy and paste that component in place. Now, as we can see, OneNote will then treat the content just as we did when we created that loop component, allowing you then to make changes. For example, let's remove the words bullet list of and update that content. You can now see it's updated in place. And if we go back into the loop app, well, the same changes applied. So you can take existing loop content across all those different apps and bring it straight into OneNote and paste it and also keep it up to date. So let's just take a short pause. I just wanted to let you know that if you're enjoying today's tutorial and want to find out more about what Microsoft 365 can do for you, why not go and download our free Microsoft 365 ebook in the link below and also in the video description. You'll be able to find different ways that you can use all the apps to become even more of a productivity superstar. Otherwise, let's dive back in to Microsoft OneNote and Loop and continue to see how these superpowers will change the way that you use OneNote moving forward. Now I know one thing we all use OneNote for, that's taking meeting minutes. And could that be easier when we're using Loop? And it absolutely can. Now as you may know from other videos on our channel, what you can do inside the Microsoft Teams is we can go ahead and schedule a new meeting and to have the ability to use Loop meeting notes by adding an agenda that others can edit. And inside of your meeting, you can add an agenda, meeting notes, and also begin to allocate tasks to people inside of that meeting. But what does that then mean? Well, it means that once your meeting is finished, you can also insert all of those meeting notes straight into OneNote using the power of Loop. Let's go and check that out. All we need to do is go back into OneNote and then click on the meeting details button at the top. We'll then see on the right hand side all of the meetings I've been part of and one of these catch ups on green space included the ability to use my Loop Collaborative Notes experience. So we can actually see inside of here who joined the meeting and so forth. But an option for Loop Collaborative Notes and by expanding that we now see all of the meeting notes, the agenda and follow up tasks. There was no need for me to re input those meeting minutes and notes and tasks they are synchronized straight from your meeting invitation added into your OneNote and can once again be shared wider or edited in place to begin making important changes but keeping everyone with that sync copy. But it's not limited just to paragraphs and lines of text. No, using the power of loop we can also have additional components. For example, in this page here in my OneNote, I could go and add a table into my page, all relating to roles and responsibilities. And using the loop capabilities to create a new table, well, I can go ahead and add in all of the roles and responsibilities and additional information straight into this table. And as if by magic, we now got a stakeholder map inside of our loop component. And we can also do more with these tables because they're using additional capability of loop well, I could do sort orders. I could add a sort based upon different stakeholder groups and so forth. I could also do filters based on particular columns. So we're not limited to just basic table capability, but much like anything else in Loop, well, this could actually remain in place or it could be copied elsewhere for us to work on. So let's go ahead and copy this component. And inside of Teams, well, we're gonna to need to add this stakeholder map. The team need to know who they're working with so once again, we can go to start a post and paste in our loop component and we'll then see our table has now appeared inside of Teams and can be shared with the wider group. They can also click into there, make changes and they can also even add additional columns of data to include other information such as their address and so forth and begin populating it which will sync straight all back into your OneNote. As you can see, I've already begun planning some of my activities on this project, but I'm using simple follow-up tasks using Outlook flags. As you can see, they'll synchronize straight over into Microsoft Outlook, but it's very difficult when it comes to assignment reminders and more. And that's how Microsoft Planner and To-Do 
offer big advantages over using flag tasks inside of OneNote, but until today, it's never really been possible to easily synchronize your task list or create anything in Planner from within OneNote, but not anymore. Now with that loop capability, well, we can now create a plan and a task board straight in your OneNote page. All we now need to do is go down here to a blank section in our OneNote page. We're gonna to go to the insert under the ribbon bar. We're then gonna click on loop components and select task list. And within here, we're now gonna generate ourselves a new task list. And this uses Microsoft Planner and to-do capabilities. So instead of using Outlook flags, we can begin to add some tasks, assign them due dates, and find out how this works inside a planner and to-do. So with our tasks now added into our task board, we've given two tasks to Miriam and also Megan. Now the great news is, this is not limited to using Outlook flags. No, this has created a new Microsoft planner for us. We can see that by clicking under the drop-down for task apps and then selecting open in planner. And inside a planner, while well, here are our tasks, you can see it's been synchronized directly from our loop task board straight into Microsoft Planner, which will also then appear in Microsoft To-Do. And the great news is, well, you can begin adding buckets and more tasks here, and then also synchronize back. Let's go and add a new bucket in here and also a new task. With that now done, let's head back into OneNote and see if that's synchronized back into our original plan in OneNote. And as if by magic, there it is, there's our new task. But not only that, the bucket inside the planner has also been synchronized across. We now have a new bucket for financials. And with those changes, well, I can also update some of the other tasks. Here, I'll update the arranged purchase order into our financial bucket, which will move it directly in Microsoft Planner, ensuring that it's in the right bucket. And as I mentioned earlier, well, all of these apply in Microsoft to do as well and also through the planner experience in Teams and on the web. So you can now begin task planning using Planner and To Do directly from OneNote using the power of Microsoft Loop. As you may have noticed, under the Insert option in Loop Components, well, it's fairly limited, and you may be aware that Loop offers Q&A capability, and I don't see that here on the list. So does OneNote support those additional capabilities? Well, you can apply them, and here's how. What I could do is add a paragraph component into OneNote. Now in here, I could then use the forward slash key to open the action menu inside of Loop. And as we scroll down this list here, you'll see we're no longer limited to just the options I saw in OneNote. No, I can scroll down and I can find the Q&A session. If I left click into that, I can begin populating my Q&A and still having it appear inside of Microsoft OneNote. And we can even do that for additional capabilities, such as code blocks as well. So as you can see, there are many other options outside of the insert menu, just by clicking on the forward slash icon inside of one of your loop components, brings up all of the options that you can begin working with and bring them into OneNote. And there you have it. We've now checked out those new changes coming into Microsoft OneNote. They're gonna change the way that you and your team collaborate when it comes to using OneNote and Loop in combination. Now there are potentially some questions you may have. That may be when you're looking at OneNote, you can't see this button yet. That's because these changes are rolling out. Yes, it's available in the Insider Builder office today, but you can also take advantage when it rolls out in the early part of 2024 and use the same great capabilities that you've seen today. There are also some limitations. Of course, Microsoft Loop requires a stable internet connection. It's also today only available in OneNote for Windows, and also the sharing links that get created from your Loop components are organizational wide. Now I'll put more information in the video description to find out, and potentially of course we'll see those areas change as these changes roll out in the future. But otherwise, I hope I'm able to show you new ways to use OneNote and to transform the way that you work. Whether that's the new task management capability or alternative sharing content with your colleagues in place, keeping it all in sync. Whatever you've seen today, if it's helped, I'd love it, hit that like button. But not only that, follow us and subscribe to this channel to find more great content like this to turn you into a productivity superstar. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next one.